We begin with our top story tonight. A local defense attorney is asking for a full review of the Bell County DA's office. It comes after a judge declared a mistrial in a child abuse case just last week because the state failed to turn over evidence in a timely manner. The six news team has been looking into this for the last several days. Our own Bailey Bates joins us now live in studio with what we know. You're gonna have to break this down for us, Bailey. Yeah, Chris and Lindsay, it's pretty complicated. Bell County Judge Wade Faulkner declared a mistrial in the child abuse case against Demetrius Woods after determining the Bell County District Attorney's Office did not disclose a piece of evidence to the defense in a timely manner, which they are required to do under the Michael Morton Act. The evidence in question was a 17 page police report filed by a Nolanville police sergeant recapping an interview of the alleged victim's mother, which held protective services. According to court documents, the mother admitted to hitting the child, then telling the alleged victim to say Woods did it. But this evidence was reportedly sorted wrong and never made it to the prosecutor on the case, nor the defense. The law office of Brett Pritchard and Colleen, who represents Woods, alleges this type of thing is an ongoing issue with the Bell County DA's office. You know, there's questions of, of whether it's negligence or intentional uh, or how much is on the part of the uh, Nolanville Police Department, how much is on the part of the district attorney's office. But at, at the end of the day, that's neither here nor there. Uh, had we not caught this in time, Mr. Woods very well may have been looking at a, a wrongful conviction and incarceration against him. Now, Bell County District Attorney Henry Garza sent a statement to Six News in response to this, stating in part, quote, the fact of the matter is that a report by the Nolanville police officer was not discovered by the trial attorney until the week before the start of the trial, and he promptly provided that report, copies of pictures, and the Child Protective Services report to opposing counsel, end quote. We have more details about the allegations against the DA's office and details about the case that started these recent accusations on our website. That's KCNTV.com, guys. All right.